and hello everyone welcome back um, so in the last video we were doing a very 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 long simulation what was the clock time on this almost 30,000 37,000 seconds and that makes uh, let's see that's about 10 hours of simulation so it's a very long time uh, and we have noticed that the current number the max current number is very low uh, 0.0095 which is a fairly comfortable thing in fact um, we can actually speed this simulation up by increasing the time step maybe 50 times so this was the old Quran number now if uh, we decrease the time step uh, it, yeah decrease the, the the resolution of the time step meaning to say we increase it by 50 times we can have this simulation go a lot faster and this is still below one very tolerable okay so yeah long and short of it what does the, the what does the profile look like you well, we can see after a long time okay remember our initial field was all even so it's playing through the times now and I'll explain what I did to get this setting yeah uh, yeah I'll like, just explain what what I did to get the setting I did a scaling over all time steps and that took a very long time but you can just have a custom custom uh, scale for your speed as well so initially of course all the velocity is uniform for this fluid throughout this uh, pipe you can see as the seconds go by the fluid near the wall starts to slow down you can see these uh, slightly blue patch areas at the side. Oops. Yeah, and this this part is the outlet because the Z direction is pointing towards you. Right. So you can see the blue part starting to form. And once we start increasing the time step, you can see that the blue parts get more and more evident. So this is getting a 10 seconds ago. 10 seconds per time step so you can see the the parts are getting more and more blue and now it's 1000 seconds per per step so you can see well the end product is that this is the outlet right because the inlet the inlet will be a uniform uh, uniform velocity going in and we this uh, we find some uh, develop how to say uh, there will be some uh, some point where the flow starts to uh, partially develop and then it'll become a fully developed so we can look, use the slice filter and then we will select you okay yeah slice filter and we'll select you all right so you see this this uh, this end here I'm gonna zoom in with a magnifying glass so click here at the center and pull it out you can see here the boundary layers are starting to form um, and then as the as the uh, fluid as the at the side slows down the fluid in the center speeds up that's to be expected and then it gets more and more developed and what should the fluid speed be in the cent in the center be well, according to a pipe flow analysis, it should be roughly. Now, this isn't exactly a perfect pipe, but it should be roughly two times, two times of the uh, superficial fluid velocity. Okay, I'll kind of try and zoom it out again. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, should be about two times the superficial fluid velocity. Now, this superficial fluid velocity is about zero point zero 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 one meters per second. And that is a little, uh, how shall I say? Uh, yeah, the, the max velocity here is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 4. So we are not quite at 2 times yet. So this this baby, uh, I won't say this baby, uh, this, uh, this uh, flow needs a bit more time to develop. Perhaps maybe another 100,000 seconds, it will start to develop fluidly and then we can see the nice flow profile shape. Alright, so... We are going to increase the time step, so I'm going to change the uh, VI system. 
what is it? Control dictionary. And what's the time step? We have a delta t of 0 0.5. Now we want a delta t of uh, k. 0 0.0 or 0 0.5. We increase that 50 times. So time step of maybe 25. So I want a delta t of 25. And you want a right interval that's about 50 times that as well. So what's the right interval? Uh, 2,000 times 50, 20,000, 100,000. 100. 100,000. 100, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. That's right. If not, you just put one E5. That's the easiest way. And then the... The end time step will be maybe a million seconds, for example, or a hundred thousand seconds. Yeah, you give it a, a million seconds then. Should I do a million seconds? No, I should not. That, that's way too long. Hundred thousand, let's do about five hundred thousand seconds. So you'll start from the latest time. And what I'll do now is just simply, all right, I'll simply do an icophone and I'll run it in the background. Then I want to bring us bring our attention to something else called potential foam. So just give a, mo a moment. So anyway, I've uploaded this previous iteration to GitHub as usual. I have the git add and git push, the usual git git add, git commit and git push, usual stuff. All right, so. I'm gonna want to run this again. I go foam, and then I want to go to I go foam long dot log. Okay, and then I'll press the N command to run it in the background. So it will start to run here yeah, as a process. So while it's running in the background, it may take a usual very long time. You can take a look at the I go foam long dot log. I go from long, and we can see the current number. See whether it's a uh, yeah. Current number is comfortably below one. So time step of twenty five. Uh, each time step apparently takes about uh, a few seconds, six seconds ish to compute, and that's fine. Uh, so we'll just wait for the million seconds to come into play or 500,000 seconds so probably in the next video we can go and see some of the uh, results that come out so I just want to introduce us to potential form first because remember when we are talking about having some initial velocity for this pipe for example we put a uniform initial velocity of say uh, the entrance uh, speed okay so for example, the speed is here. The speed is here is uh, 0 0.0001 uh, meter per second. All right, this u magnitude is 0 0.0001. But uh, yeah, it will work for this simple pipe, sure enough. But when it comes to a more complicated geometry, for example, you have a, a pipe that will, let's say, will taper down and then you'll come back up. Well, if you use the 0 0.0001 or the uniform velocity kind of initial uh, velocity profile, um, you'll run into problems, the continuity problems, uh, and iterations will be a bit more difficult. Now, to solve this, let uh, solve this problem to make it universal for pipes or pipes with uh, spheres lodged inside or pipes with objects lodged, in, uh, lodged inside or anything with uh, you know where you have um, constriction of flow area and then relaxation as well whether okay so let's say the flow area is like this yeah and any any time there's a flow area that it's uh, becoming smaller and then bigger all right or let's say you have a sphere in here and you have some uh, incoming wind or you can have an air airfoil, airfoiled, 
meaning an aeroplane wing or something like that. But sphere is the most standard example. You have fluid flowing across the sphere. It will speed up because a uh, fluid will flow like this. This will stagnate here. This will speed up around here. Here's where the flow speeds up. And uh, well, you can't be manually, you know, computing all these initial fields. So this this uh, utility called potential foam is going to help you. So let's go to foam tutorials. And we'll take a look at the basic, right? And I want to draw your attention to potential foam. And there are two cases here. One is called cylinder, one is called pit daily. Now the cylinder, cylinder is uh, the cylinder case. Now this cylinder case is uh, well documented. This is one of the standard uh, tutorials. We have a flow around the cylinder. So this will teach you how to use potential form. Now, um, so I'm going to copy this over. See the cylinder. Okay, I'm going to copy this address. Okay, and then I'll go to open form files. So I just want to delete some uh, old files. Maybe the flat plate. Mm. Flat plate. Extended, flat, graded, flat, plate. Fine, these were the old videos. Low viscosity, that's all. So I'm just going to remove lots of uh, these old files. Oh, there's a tutorial folder here. I almost forgot. Now, which, uh, again, I, we have a uh, potential form here as well. But no matter. Okay, we can just remove this whole tutorials folder. Yeah, I mean, we don't really need that. This is just a copy. Or should I just leave it here? Uh, yeah, maybe I'll leave it here. Anyway, so I'm just going to co uh, copy this uh, down into a cylinder. Then I'll rename this cylinder file. Yeah, this cylinder file here. I want to rename it. Uh, I should forget it, forget it. Yeah, let's see cylinder. I want to rename it as uh, cylinder, cylinder, potential form. I want to rename it as the potential form. Let's see if we can do a simple or run script. Alright, so I'm not gonna, not going to, uh, you know, um, do anything too fancy. Just do the all run. So it's gonna run block mesh, and it's gonna run potential foam. Probably it's gonna take a bit longer because uh, there are some processes running in the background. So you can see how much memory is taking. Okay, looks like about 80 CPU usage is about at 80 percent. And uh, Paraview, I think I can close it because it's eating up lots of memory. And there's the filming and yeah, anti malware. It looks like that as well. And icon forms taking a lot of uh, space. So let's take a look. So, yeah, it's running potential form as well. This is a very simple case. So, yeah, just wait for this thing to finish. It should take very short. And we'll want to visualize the results in Paraview again. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward. Alright, that didn't take very long. Okay, so let's touch uh, cylinder.foam. Okay, so all the logs are here, block, block mesh, post processing, and everything. Uh, yeah, we'll need to open Paraview again. And let's look for the cylinder. Okay, 
I'm not gonna copy and paste it because it's kind of uh, I'm not gonna paste it on my desktop because that's very roundabout way of doing things and form files and let's take a look at uh, cylinder potential oh I have two okay no wonder all right that's probably an old file but uh, yeah this cylinder dot form and we want to see whether we can um, yeah we want to see whether it can visualize the velocity now at first of course uh, there's nothing there's no velocity to speak of so over here but you need to take a look at this thing called skip zero time so it says to ignore the zero directory well all the data is going to be here there's no there's no uh, there's no uh, time equals one or something like that so we cannot do the z skip zero time we will include the zero time and finally you'll be able to see the initial velocity field can you see that the magnitude of the velocity field and then we can do a simple glyph filter okay I'm gonna select this and do a glyph filter slice it up first so I'm gonna do the slice so that's the pressure yeah how is it? Uh, hold on, let me take a look. I delete this. Ah, I think I messed something up. Let's try again. All right, I'll apply this again. Yeah, there you go. Must have been uh, on the wrong side. And I'll not skip zero time as usual. You have to check that every time you do it. If not, it's going to be really weird. You can't find anything. So, let's see. The U is the some velocity profile. And let's include some axes to see what... Uh, yeah, so this is the X and Y axis. So we'll need to uh, have a slice. So normal to the Z axis, apply. And there's the pressure profile. This is the velocity profile. They are inverse to each other. And of course, the potential foam, as the open foam guide says, is a. It represents a. Uh, what do you call that? It represents a. Uh, inviscid flow. Yes, that's the word. Inviscid flow. So you gotta be mindful of that. There'll be no viscous, viscous effects here, but it's perfect for let's say a uh, initial velocity kind of thing. So I'm just gonna put some glyphs in. Again, glyphs you have to scale it by u, which is the velocity, and let's do it. And that's uh, that's pretty much what the velocity profile looks like. So I'm just gonna decrease the scale to make it look a bit nicer, and yeah. Okay, so I have the slice, and then I'll click away, and look, this is what the uh, potential form, uh, what it does. So you can see the, the, uh, the velocity here is uh, low, and the pressure here is high, that's why it's colored by like pressure. Okay, and then here the pressure is lower, but the velocity is higher. That's expected in like those Bernoulli kind of equation. So the flow has constricted. Uh, I mean, the flow chan flow area has constricted. Therefore, it flows faster. All right. So this is just a. Uh, this is just a simple, you know, introduction to potential foam. How do you uh, view the results correctly? In the next video, we'll probably talk more about it. And yeah, it's a little uh, long video, uh, about twenty minutes. Hopefully it's fine with you. But anyway, yeah, that's all I have for you. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching.